reading, writing, computer and video gaming, playing cards, internet surfing, music, hiking, swimming and kayaking. Those are some of the many indoor and outdoor recreational activities. So, what is recreation? Recreation refers to experiences and activities chosen and pursued by the individual in his or her free time. The basis being that the experience sought and activities pursued, in the real sense of the word, recreates the individual so that he or she may be refreshed to enable him or her to resume daily obligations, whatever those may be. Meanwhile, recreational tourism is the recreation of tourists whereby it aims on the active participation in some kind of recreational activity. Based on United Nations World Tourism Organization Global Economic Research Center Asia Tourism Trends 2016, like any other parts of the world, travel related to leisure, recreation and holidays generates the highest share of arrivals in Asia and the Pacific which accounted to 53%. As mentioned earlier, swimming and kayaking are among the recreational activities considered as water-based activities. Water-based activities can be done either at a beach or an island. Islands are attractive as tourism destinations because of the sense of distance, geographic finiteness, cultural and environmental insularity, regardless of the remoteness from centres of population, access routes or larger economies. Clean water contributes to the recreation and tourism industry worldwide by accentuating beautiful beaches, white water rivers, mountain lakes, and aquatic ecosystems such as coral reefs. Water has a powerful attraction for people because a day at the beach provides recreation, relaxation, and a chance to renew the spirit. Water-based recreational activities have long been recognized as having a positive influence on health and well-being. For example, since ancient times, bathing in mineral waters has been reputed to cure a variety of illnesses. These days, more and more people are taking up recreational activities in and around water, and these are an important part of leisure and tourism around the world. So, for this study, we plan to explore the visitors' engagement in water-based activities in Panko Island, Perak. Panko, with its charming mix of fishing settlements and resorts, is a fascinating and convenient holiday destination. It presents the visitors with a rare chance to live near fishermen and observe their lifestyle and also to simply enjoy the fine beaches and resort amenities. The fishermen live in scattered settlements on the eastern side facing the town of Lumut and Teluk Bati. Visitors get a chance to see some of them on the 40-minute ferry ride from Lumut as the ferry stops at the main settlements of Sungai Pinang Kecil and Sungai Pinang Besar before landing at Pangko Town. In the past, Pulau Pangko used to be the centre for piracy. The pirates had their home ports in Pulau Gedong Hills, Gua Lanun and Batu Perompak on the island of Pangko. Many ships or boats were taken over and robbed of their goods and products. The Dutch were active here in the times of the Dutch East India Company. People were especially keeping themselves busy with the tin industry until the British took over. In 1670, the Dutch built a fort for protection against the locals and the higher powers of that time at Tiger Rock. During the British rule, the name had temporarily changed to Monkey Island. Later, the island was named Pula Aman before it regained the name Panko. Panko Island is located at the Straits of Malacca in the district of Manjong Pera. The nearest town to Panko Island at the mainland is Lumut. Tourists who are willing to travel to Panko can take a ferry either from Lumut Jati or Marina Island Jati. Ferry to Panko Island operates as early as 6.30 a.m. until 7.30 p.m. The fare rate for the ferry is 14 ringgit for adults and 6 ringgit for children. The ticket is used for both journeys to and from Panko. The journey to Panko Island from Marina Island Jetty takes only about 10 minutes, while the journey from Lumut Jetty takes about 45 minutes. 
Based on the statistical data provided by the Tourism Division, Community Development and Social Department of Manjong Municipal Council, a total of 943,169 visitors visited Panko Island in 2017. The data is based on the number of ferry passengers in the Marine Department. Here in Panko, Nipa Bay is the centre of attraction for most visitors visiting Panko. This is because Nipa Bay offers a variety of fascinating water activities for its visitors like Poparazi, Banana Boat, Big Marble, Ben Wagon, Jet Ski and many more. The price charged for each game depends on the type of game joined. The price range for the water activities is around 15 ringgit to 30 ringgit. Moreover, there is also a few packages offered with a cheaper price. Based on our research, we found out that the price offered is reasonable and worth the service and the games provided that even among the visitors who visit here for three or four times per year. Banana Boat was the most popular game to participate but now there are many other new games introduced such as Big Marble, Paparazzi and Bandwagon. Currently, Big Marble is the most popular game among visitors whereby they only have to lie down on a boy shaped like a sofa and they are brought around Nipa Bay by boat. For kayaking, the operator will usually take visitors who come in groups of about 40 people. The services provided includes an instructor, a rescue boat, and a boat to carry visitors to and fro Nipa Bay. However, individuals who are interested to go kayaking can also rent the equipment. Kayaking and rafting are also included in the team building package to target groups of visitors with the aim to strengthen the bond between them. Kalau kata macam kayak tu kalau ada orang datang by group, kita selalunya kita akan sediakan rescue boat, guide, eh? Lepas tu instructor untuk aktiviti tu Kalau dalam kuantiti yang ramai lah Kalau macam setakat dia nak mencuba satu kayak dia, dia sewa je lah kan Tapi kalau by group tu macam 40 orang dan ke atas ha, Memang kita akan ha, harga yang kita charge tu Dia dah mas termasuk guide apa semua For Ilham, her kayaking experience was very exciting. She spent kayaking for about three hours From island to island to capture the view and vicinity around Panko Kayak On peak season, which is on school holidays and weekends, a huge number of visitors that comes to Panko consists of families. Hence, it is an opportunity to bring their kids to engage in the water activities offered at Nipa Bay. One time, there was almost 500 visitors participated in the water activities here. However, on ordinary days, the number of visitors does not even reach 10 people. Even foreign visitors love visiting Panko Island. In fact, some of them have visited Panko Island thrice and plan on visiting again in the future. For Pega and her friends, they prefer swimming the most. They swam from island to island for about an hour. Besides, they also went kayaking and jet ski. They expressed that Panko Island is much more fun compared to other islands that they have visited such as Langkawi Island, Perhentian Island and Penang. They prefer to be in Panko for their vacation because of its calm environment and it is less crowded. Pega would highly recommend Panko Island to people who want to participate in water activities as it is fun and really worth it. Moreover, safety measures are taken into serious consideration by the operator to avoid visitors from accidents. The operator will make sure that the life jackets worn by visitors are installed and checked properly. Then, they will explain briefly on ways to do the water activities. Visitors are not allowed to bring valuable items with them to avoid loss and theft. Furthermore, there are also staffs to monitor visitors at the activities area. Langkah jaga-jaga memang kita ambil. Kita tak, tak ringankan bab tu semua. Sebab keselamatan memang kita mention. Kalau korang tengok pun, korang pergi tadi pun, life jacket pun saya cek, saya pasangkan. Saya rasa kalau perlu alih korang pergi, tak ada orang pasangkan life jacket korang macam tu. 
Saya rasa dah saya pun banyak duit power orang kan Dia orang bagilah je kan pakai sendiri Tapi kita orang, kita orang pakai kan, kita orang tengok kan So kita akan briefing sebelum pergi Nak buat aktiviti apa-apa kan Itu kita punya standard prosedur kita lah SOP Besides participating in water-based activities There are many attractive places that are worth visiting for tourists when in Panko Island. Among them are Fulin Kong Temple, Dutch Fort, Dutch Stone Inscription, Al Badr Mosque, and Hai Sing Hin Fish Factory. Visitors who have visited Panko also gave their suggestions towards the improvement of Panko in order to attract more visitors to visit there. Among the suggestions include to clean and beautify Panko Island as the vicinity in Panko is quite dirty, especially at the beach area. The environment can improve because the uh, beach, actually, I went less place is clean. Still have some uh, area is clean, but like here and uh, the other side, the beach is not that clean, a lot of trash. And uh, you're uh, seaside somewhere uh, a little dirty. Uh, yes, what a pity. I think uh, you need to clean and uh, it's better for the uh, uh, tourism. Yes. So, just I think just I take care of the water. Moreover, there should be more advertising about Panko Island as there are still many people who do not know about the existence of this island. Some of them only knew about Panko after their friends introduced it to them. I never seen uh, heard about the name of this island. Uh, when I come to KL, my friends just uh, come to here. I think uh, you need more advertisement about this island because uh, I think few people know about this place. Uh, In addition, the equipment for the water activities need to be changed for newer ones as the existing equipment are quite old. Furthermore, there should be a variety of food sold. This is because foreign visitors find it hard to find food that suit the taste. I suggest just only my suggestion is only food. Because uh, enough water activities, enough spice you don't, don't like. But for the foreign people, there is enough no less than Because I'm living here for two years, I can eat already Malaysian food. But for my friends, if I have any friends from my masterland friends, I cannot bring them here because we have to bring our food as well. Then we go to KFC, only KFC. In conclusion, there is a variety of fascinating water-based activities in Panko, which are banana boat, snorkeling, jet ski, kayak, swimming, and many more. Based on our research, the most popular water-based activities are snorkeling and swimming. To attract more visitors to engage in water-based activities, the cleanliness and the beauty of the sea should be preserved and well maintained. Lastly, more promotion is needed to make this island known to more people.